was the Bible put together? You know, you say, well, how do we know all of this? So I'm going to share something that will really help you. You will just love this today. The Old Testament breaks into four segments. It's the Pentateuch, which just means five. And then it has history. So, you know, you're looking at Joshua, Judges. You're looking at Ruth. You get history books, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles. So you have history. But then oh, you have five wisdom books. Well, what are they? They're Job and Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes and Song of Solomon. And then you have the prophets. Many people don't read the prophets. And so they're not really profitable. So we see that these were written by men who were inspired by the Holy Spirit. But you say, well, what about the New Testament? We have the Gospels. And then we have Acts, which is history. We have these wonderful epistles and many of them written by Paul while he was in prison. He didn't waste his time. And then we have Revelation. Notice the four parts. We have gospel. What do we have? Acts is history. We have these wonderful epistles which show us the character that we have in Jesus. And then we have revelation. And so men were moved on by the spirit of God and wrote these. So I believe when you read the Bible, the Bible reads you. Is it wrong for a Christian to meditate? Well, it depends on what you're meditating on because meditate means to go over it and over it like a, chew, a cow chews its cud and it swallows it. It goes into one stomach, then it comes up and they chew it some more, get some more nutrition, goes into another stomach. They come up again and chews it again. So when we meditate, we chew on something with our mind. Now, if you are chewing ugh, on vengeance or unforgiveness, not good. But if you meditate on the word, and I love Joshua 1, 8, it says if we meditate on the word day and night, if we speak the word day and night, if we do the word day and night, we will make our way successful in everything that we do. Meditating on the right thing, God's word, it is powerful. Why did God create Satan? You know, Satan is such a problem. You know, why did he make him to start with? And I would say to you, you need to read the book of Ezekiel. You need to read the book of Isaiah and see that Satan was a wonderful angel that led the worship in heaven. But he became exalted and wanted to be above God rather than under God. And when he fell, he took a third of the angels with him. And those are demonic spirits here. But God created him to be a blessing, but he had free choice. He creates you to be a blessing, but you have free choice. Satan made the wrong choices and took a whole group of people with him. And I would say this to your household, as for you and your house, you're gonna serve the Lord, not the devil.